Hi everyone, Lawrence here from ATLC and today I've got the pleasure of having Chris Ross from Kerpool with us. Um, the reason I've asked Chris to join us today is to have a, an importers exporters uh, insight and feedback on the before and after of having a generalist um, provider versus a specialist provider. So thanks Chris for joining us mate. Thank you mate, thanks for having me. Um, great, you're welcome. Um, mate, tell us a bit about Corporal, what's the background and what do you guys do? Um, Cooper International is a metals exporter and we do do a little bit of imports. Um, pretty much we move metal from Australia to anywhere that requires it. Okay, cool. And most, do you deal with a lot of different currencies or mainly Aussie US? Mainly Aussie US. Okay, cool. And so Chris, before you've sort of found a specialist, how, how, was your, how do you manage Forex? How, was your, how did you go about the, the actual... Uh, we used to go very much in the traditional sense down the banking route where we used to just use spots forwards and keep it very, very simple. Mm. And that was about it, to be perfectly honest. Yep, okay. And how long, can I ask, have you been with a specialist now? Uh, we've been with them for about six months now. Fantastic. So you're lucky enough to sort of get in just as some of this crazy stuff around the world's happened? Oh, absolutely. It's helped us dramatically without being able to hedge it both ways pretty much and cover a fair bit of our exposure. Yeah, so this, I mean, some of the stuff, again, I still see and talk to importers and exporters who have got no Forex control, if you like, but they're still at the mercy of this US-China trade war. We've got Brexit happening at the moment. There's um, you know, so many variables going on with other, you know, different world current affairs, if you like, that all this stuff impacts the markets, even back home here you know, with the, the Reserve Bank and all these different job numbers. And there's so many inputs that affect the your Aussie dollar. Um, and how the hell do you keep keep up with all that stuff, right? You've got, you got your own business goals and focuses to do. Very much so. Uh, so for us, with our specialists, we've had a lot of education and mm. they're keeping their finger on the pulse. Yeah. So for us, it's been a lot easier. We've been able to relax a little bit and then been able to get feedback of where the market's going or what we could be looking for and we we're able to make very solid business decisions based on that. Yeah, that's valuable. I think um, you know, that the ability to really have, as you say, an expert in your corner. Oh, absolutely. It, just, it takes all that sort of onus and pressure off you that you can just focus on the core. It also allows us to get some opportunities which we were never privy to before or we wouldn't have expected we may have missed while we were sleeping. Yeah. That could be in the case. Yeah. 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 So would you class as very proactive now versus the reactive that you were with the generalist? Very, very much so. Yeah, we definitely forecast a little bit better and it's a lot easier for us to forecast because we can work in a much better scope and time frame as well. Yep. So Chris, how did you go, how did you find, you know, how, how did you actually come across a, a specialist? You know, what's, how did it actually all come, come about? So it actually came through one of our industry dinners. Um, the specialist was there having a bit of a chat and we went, and I went and had a chat to him and liked what they were saying and yeah. then definitely had him in for an interview and ever since then it's been gold for us. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I think it's, you know, it, I know that uh, a lot of people say, oh, look, we'll, we'll, yeah, we're right type thing, but yep. you, know, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, so absolutely. It's, it's really important to, to, to hear your feedback from a practical point of view and yeah. uh, to see that having that, that initial chat is great, yep. but actually understanding your business and how your business operates versus a general, here's a forex strategy that might be you know, vanilla and cut and paste job into, into your business. And that's very much what we found with the specialist. We, it's very customizable to our style of business, mm. whereas unfortunately the old model that we were using was just a generic. Mm. There, there was no customization available for us yeah. and therefore this has been a great improvement for us to be yeah. honest. Yeah, you can't cookie cut international trade. I think there's so many variables with every individual business, even yep. within the same industry sector. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You know, you've all got different payment terms, you've all got different um, inventory requirements, you've got different customer requirements and customer terms. So it's really valuable and critical for um, you know, the people, all the specialists, to actually take the time to listen to what your business needs are and then yep. build a solution around that. Yeah, and we can, and the best part is we look both short term and long term on that front. Yeah. So, therefore, we've got a fair idea where we're heading and which in uncertain markets is fantastic yeah. for us. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, look, I think, um, you know, really appreciate you taking the time, Chris, to, to share your experience and your feedback with us, with ATLC, the community, myself. And, you know, really, I really encourage all the other importers and exporters and even the service providers, whether you're a forwarder or any, any companies actually doing overseas payments to, to hear about what Chris has just gone through and how he's actually, you know, protected himself, almost, um, almost insured yourself against, oh, absolutely. you know, the, the sort of recent chaos. And there's going to be more chaos, as we know. You know, the world's never going to be stable when it comes to foreign exchange or, or, or uh, world affairs. But 
Forex is really vulnerable to that sort of um, uncertainty in yep. markets. Yep. But uh, look, I think uh, businesses, they really uh, insure themselves against obviously fire and damages and, and, and marine insurance, all these sort of things. And we've got some you know, great, great solutions around that. But people, they, they, don't, um, they don't know how to really protect themselves against Forex. Well, you can't insure yourself against Forex. Well, there you go. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a really valuable thing. So that's why you need those specialist partners. And you need that type of um, experts in your corner to, to do all that sort of strategy for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And again, the, the education that they provide us is invaluable. Great. Fantastic. Well, you know, you've heard it from Chris directly. You've been able to hear that journey and how it's actually saved his profits, saved a lot of the headache around it. Um, and Apex, we really pay up to have as our national partners in the Forex game. So recommend that you get in touch with Apex. We'll have the details on this post. Uh, thank you, Grant, Chris, for joining thank us. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate it. And sharing your journey. Thank you. Ta Ciao. Cheers.